Glenn, we expected Microsoft results to be good. Morgan Stanley naming Microsoft its top pick in uncertain times. Is there anything surprising about these numbers? Not really. We expected them to do well. And, you know, it, it, it is it has been one of the companies that uh, is still shining through all of this. And not surprisingly, because it is uh, it has been providing a lot of the technology that people need uh, to get through this, all the work from home and teleconferencing and that kind of thing. Uh, Microsoft's products have been in high demand. So where do you expect to see continued growth? And are you at all concerned that as the economy starts to reopen, we're hearing about it happening right now uh, in Florida, starting on May 1st, that some of the gains that Microsoft has made, uh, whether it's in their, their Teams chat product or elsewhere, do, do those gains start to decline? Uh, I, think, I think we will see some, some usage decline. However, much of what's happening now is going to continue as the new normal. Uh, as people start going back to the offices, not everybody goes back to the office. And I think we've all learned how useful these technologies like uh, Microsoft Teams and Zoom and some others have been. And uh, I, I have to say, I use all of these systems and I've been personally very happy with Teams. The, the, the quality of the voice and video has been very good. And I think that's a testament to how Microsoft uh, has not just designed this technology, but also handled the load. Uh, you know, most of these subscription services, you assume you're going to have X percent of your customers using it any, at any point in time. And suddenly you have 10 or 20 or even 100 X uh, that factor, and you may run out of uh, you may run out of capacity, uh, and that has happened with Microsoft. It's happened with everybody, but uh, I think Microsoft has been weathering the storm well, and that bodes well in the long term because they're building trust with customers. Meantime, we're getting headlines in now from uh, the Microsoft call. Uh, Microsoft saying their Xbox holiday 2020 launch is on track. Gaming is another huge part of Microsoft's business. And we know that gaming has generally uh, seen a boost as a result of all of us being shut in. How much do you expect the gaming sector to buoy the overall business? Uh, it's it's overall it's still a fairly small percentage of of Microsoft's revenue, so it's not going to make that big of a difference. And based on uh, the release that they issued today, uh, Xbox content and services were up two uh, two percent. Uh, I would have expected more, but coming back to subscribers, uh, you pay you pay for the usage, and uh, you know you use it more. Uh, it's basically going to cost you roughly the same. So revenue-wise, it's not going to make a big difference when you have those bursts of activity. Uh, but again, the capacity is there, and uh, gaming is a big business. But overall, in Microsoft, it's still a fairly small percentage. Meantime, Microsoft is also saying that the coronavirus and the pandemic is also hurting one-off licensing deals with small businesses. We know that small businesses have been particularly hurt by this crisis. The president is having an event with small business leaders at the White House right now. He's telling them uh, the target date for reopening is as soon as possible, but that can, of course, and will, of course, vary from state to state. As we start to see these moves with these states reopening, what do you think the impact of this is more broadly on the markets and the companies that you cover? Yeah, small business in particular has been suffering, and uh, I, I do have concerns about the small business uh, sector. Large business, most of it's okay. Uh, you know, travel and, and entertainment uh, aside, the rest of the economy is still moving, uh, albeit at a sluggish pace in some places, but uh, the machinery is still still trying to operate. So I think large companies are, are going to weather this. Small businesses uh, is a different story. And uh, the sooner we can get things restarted, the better small business is going to be. And, uh, and, and you know, the technologies from Microsoft are going to, uh, are going to reflect that, uh, as well as other technologies. Uh, you know, if you go out of business, you're not going to be using your your Microsoft Azure services anymore. But uh, we'll have to watch that play out and see see how small business uh, performs and how things recover once we we do start getting back in business here. 